KTN jina langu ni Ali Manzu. Askofu wa diocese ya Kianglikana ya Kericho Jackson Ole Sapita sasa ndiye mkuu mpya wa kanisa la Kianglikana nchini. Ole Sapita amechaguliwa adhuhuri ya leo kwenye uchaguzi wa faragha katika makao makuu ya Anglikana katika kanisa la All Saints Cathedral hapa jijini Nairobi. Askofu Sapita anatarajiwa kuchukua mahala pake askofu mkuu wa sasa Eliud Bukala ambaye anatarajiwa kustaafu mwezi ujao. This afternoon that the church the Anglican Church of Kenya has spoken and have uh, given me an opportunity to be the next bishop of the Anglican Church of Kenya. I want to sincerely thank the members of the Neto College and all who have been praying with us and for this church. I want to thank the nation for funding the Anglican Church and I even want to thank the members of the media for coming to be able to witness this occasion. Indeed, the church has spoken and the voice of the people who have spoken is we believe is the voice of God. I am coming as a humble servant I'm coming to serve this church. Uh, the focus right now is to unite ourselves as a church so that we can unite this country. And I believe we have what it takes as a national church to bring unity to our nation. We also want to extend the kingdom of God by preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, the, the, under the authority of the scriptures. We want to thank God for the opportunity he has given us. The church is here for social transformation of our society and we are here to mobilize our communities back in their own villages for their social transformation. I want to see mission of the church as both pastoral ministry and social transformation that people can be able to grow holistically in the ministry of Christ. We want to put a lot of emphasis and focus to the ministry of children. We will have to serve our society tomorrow. We also want to focus uh, on the youth so that we can be able to engage the youth in gainful and positive development of our nation, uh, not uh, forgetting that this nation is for us all. So for today, na mtazamaji ni nani Ole Sapit Jackson Nesura Ole Sapit alizaliwa tarehe 12 mwezi wa Juni mwaka 1954 katika kaunti ya Narok na alisomea shule ya msingi ya Rotian na baadaye kujiunga na shule ya upili Narok mwaka 1989 alijiunga na chuo cha mafunzo ya dini cha Berea na kutawazwa kasisi mwaka 1992 Amekuwa msimamizi wa parokia ya Belgut kwa miaka miwili kuanzia mwaka 1992 hadi 1994 na baadaye aliendelea na masomo katika chuo kikuu cha St Paul's na kupata shahada katika somo la dini mwaka 1997 ameteuliwa askofu wa diocese ya Kericho mwaka 2008 na, na hii leo mtazamaji ameweza kuteuliwa kuwa askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Kianglikana mapema wakati wa adhuhuri. Maaskofu wengine watano mtazamaji ambao walikuwa kwenye mchuano huo wa kuwania wadhifa wa kiongozi wa kanisa la Kianglikana nchini. Miongoni mwao ni Moses Ntuka huyu ni askofu kutoka Mbere, Joseph Ochiela askofu kutoka Nyanza ya Kusini, Joel Waweru huyu akiwa ni askofu wa hapa jijini Nairobi na Lawrence Dena askofu wa Malindi bila kumsahau Julius Wanyoike ambaye ni askofu wa Thika. Punde tu baada ya wadhifa kumwendea askofu wa Kericho Jackson Ole Sapit wote hao walimpongeza na kutangaza kumuunga mkono. Praise the Lord. As you know, I was one of the candidates and we have been praying. All of you have been praying. We have also been praying. We agreed as candidates to pray for one another and we made a covenant that any one of us who is elected this day we shall all support him. And so I stand here to say I'm satisfied with the results. I have accepted those results. I want to assure my brother, the Archbishop elect, the Right Reverend Jackson Ole Sapiti, of my support. That we shall continue to work together for the glory of God and for the blessing of the people of this church and this nation. 
So thank you very much, and I give you my congratulations, my brother, as we copyright. Thank you very much. God bless you all. I join my brother, Mr. Zena, to congratulate the Archbishop elect, Archbishop elect and Lugu uh, Jackson on the Sapiti. I also want to congratulate the Electoral College in the way that they conducted the, the election. We are grateful to God, we as Anglicans, that the Holy Spirit continues to guide us in all that we do. And we seek and pray that this country would join such a spirit whenever we have an electoral process at every level. That we are brothers, we are sisters, and we can live as one. Mtangazamaji hayo alikuwa ni matangazo ya mapema dhuhuri ya leo muda mchache tu baada ya uchaguzi huo wa askofu mkuu wa kanisa la Kianglikana kufanyika na wenzake pia kujitokeza na kumpongeza kwa kuchukua wadhifa huo kumbuka Jackson Ole Sapete sasa ndio anachukua mahala pa we, wa, o, askofu wa zamani ambaye anatarajiwa kustaafu wakati wa wote kuanzia mwezi ujao. Tukiendelea na taarifa zaidi mtazamaji Rais Uhuru Kinyata aliendeleza ziara yake sehemu ya kaskazini mashariki ya Kenya kwa kuzuru kaunti ya Wajir mapema asubuhi ya leo. Rais Kinyata akiandamana na msafara wake aliendelea kukagua miradi ya maendeleo na pia kufungua taasisi ya mafunzo ya afya nchini KMTC tawi la Wajir katika hospitali kuu ya kaunti ya Wajir. Rais pia alipata fursa kuanzisha miradi ya maji kusambazwa katika shule za msingi mbalimbali kaunti ya Wajir na hata kufuatilia mradi wa vipakatilishi katika shule za msingi humu nchini ambako Wajir ni mojawapo ya maeneo ambayo yameendelea na majaribio kwa sasa. Hapo kesho Rais Uhuru Kinyata na msafara wake unatarajiwa kuanzisha ujenzi wa barabara mbalimbali katika kaunti ya Garissa wakati akitarajiwa kukamilisha ziara ya siku tatu iliyoanza hapo jana katika kaunti ya Mandera. Siku nne kabla ya kukamilika kwa kampeni ya chanjo dhidi ya ukambi na hata rubela baadhi ya shule zinazosimamiwa na makanisa kaunti ya Embu zimedaiwa kuwazuia wahudumu wa afya kutoa chanjo ama kutoa chanjo hiyo kwa watoto Kenya inalenga watoto milioni 19 kupokea chanjo hiyo mwaka huu Mark na Maswa anaarifu zaidi Wanafunzi wa shule ya msingi kaunti ya Embu wakichangamkia kampeni ya chanjo ilipofika shule ni mwao. We are targeting around uh, 174,800 children and so far we have been able to to vaccinate over 91,000 children. So that's about 50% of the children that we are targeting. Hata hivyo kumekuwa na pingamizi kutoka kwa baadhi ya taasisi za kidini na mashauriano yamefanywa kutafuta suluhu. Got a lot of sub positive support in most of the schools apart from a few Catholic schools, not all of them, a few of them. Um, however, we have approached uh, the Vicar General Father Wanyoike and uh, he was uh, non-committal. Sasa wazazi wameombwa kupeleka watoto wao kwenye vituo vya afya na shule zilizo karibu nao kabla ya kampeni ya chanjo kufikia kikomo. We have been emphasizing that this uh, vaccine which is uh, tested and it is safe and uh, and uh, we don't have, we don't expect any problems from the vaccination. Hamna taarifa rasmi kuhusu msimamo wa makanisa kuhusu chanjo ya sasa. Lakini mwaka 2015 kanisa katoliki lilipinga chanjo dhidi ya pepopunda likidai sio salama. Chanjo ya ukambi rubela na pepopunda itakamilika tarehe 24 Mei mwaka huu. Mark na Maswa KTN News. Na mtazamaji basi kufiki hapo ndio tunatamatisha taarifa za mbiu ya KTN lakini kwenye muda usokuwa mrefu nitarudi kupitia KTN News tuendelee na taarifa za leo mashinani. Jina langu ni Ali Manzu Asante kwa kutazama tukutane tena baadaye.